guys what's up welcome back to the uh the youtube channel so today uh i've been messing around with the car took the wastegate off i'm gonna change the springs in them pretty sure i have the uh, 11 pound springs uh we'll take it apart and look at what spring came in it these are the springs that shipped in the turbo or in the wastegates straight from on three i took them apart and looked i didn't have the dual spring set up they sent me these in the uh the mail so there's your plain ones and then they send you two red ones so i'm gonna take this apart well first we're gonna test it i built my own bench tester for waste gates um from uh bought all the stuff at harbor freight for like 20 bucks uh, i bought the uh digital air pressure regulator uh and then some fittings for it and then put some hose to it so we're going to go ahead and test test our wastegate and see when it opens up. I tested a little earlier with just the regular airflow one, but it goes up to like 300 or 200 PSI. So it's very, uh, it's very hard to tell exactly what PSI it's starting to open up at. But they were opening up around fully about 15 pounds. So I want to say it's a 14 pound spring or maybe 11. So I bought the digital one to... Uh, check and make sure well check and know exactly what psi they're opening up at so if you have the 15 to 17 top mount kit when you take it apart i'll show you the spring that's in there but i'm pretty sure it's the wrong spring because i just on gate pressure i keep making about 11 12 pounds of boost and i'm on 93 and i don't want to do that so i'm going to try these gates and see what makes what i also ordered some tile four pound springs off of jegs for like 30 bucks so worst comes to worst I will end up swapping them out again. So let's uh, let's start testing and we will see when they open up. So what we're looking for is we want this to open up. So we got top vented and the uh, the bottom is uh, hooked up to our, our uh, air compressor, which is outside. Try to get rid of some of that light imbalance that should be a lot better so what we'll do is we'll turn our air pressure gauge on set to zero right now and we'll slowly so it's at seven psi right now and nothing eight psi nine ten 11 it's starting to crack you can hear it 11 starting to open up 14 opening up even more so now we're at about 20 pounds so it's fully open let's say around fill it closing so we're about 8 psi still open up about 11 and it's most of the way open so if i had to guess i would say that this is an 11 pound spring so what we're gonna do is take it apart and uh we're gonna throw just one of these in then we'll do one of these and then we'll do both of them together and we'll see what we make we uh we got the gate out uh the gate apart so as you can see there's our diaphragm diaphragm looks to be in good shape you know uh this is the spring that came out of there and uh as you can tell it is definitely a lot more beefy than the one this one is the one that ships with the gates i guess i don't know all of them but these are what came in mind it seems to be what come in a lot of them uh at least the other guys with the top mount uh s550 kit so this is what came out of them this is uh your 11 to 14 pound spring i don't know which one it is but it's opening up about 11 and then fully opening at 14 so i would say probably 14 psi spring so as you can tell they are uh there's a big big difference in uh all the springs your red one and then you got the plain 
one. And then you got this big, big boy right here. So from my understanding is this is uh, a compact gate from what I could uh, come up with. So that is why this, I don't know. That's what I read. They're compact gates. These aren't compact springs. But, uh, they fit in there. Anyway, we're going to switch out. We'll switch to this spring. So we're going to put this spring in there. Uh, we'll get it clamped in, get it all tightened down, and then we will test it. And then when we're done with that, we'll throw that in there and we will test that one. Um, one spring by itself, this should be six to seven pounds, I'm thinking. And then this, when you throw this in there, it'll get you up to about 11 PSI, according to the uh, the website, the on three website. So uh, we'll get this in, get it put back together, and then we'll test it. Then we'll uh, swap it out for the red. Well, we'll throw the red one in there, and we'll see what we make. It should be about 11, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. Got it back together everything looks good so we're gonna hook up our bottom of our gate and try to block that light so you guys can see it so we'll turn on our pressure regulator we're at zero psi right now here comes some air So we're at 8 PSI, you can hear it starting to bleed through, 9 PSI, and it is fully open at about 10. So, 9 PSI, so we're at 7, went back down to 7. 7 PSI, you can hear it, hear it hissing a little bit, 8 PSI, starts to open up. 9 PSI, 9.5, and, and it's almost fully open. It's, I would say it's pretty much fully open at about 9 or 10 PSI. We're in there. I would say that is probably a 10 pound spring. So that would, I would say 14 pound spring right there. So we will uh, throw the little red one in, see what that makes together with this uh, eight pound spring that's doing 10 pounds. Um, and we'll uh, go from there. So I'm gonna swap that spring in and we will uh, see what it makes. So I will uh, get to taking this bad boy apart. And we will see what it makes. All right guys, we got the we just got the red spring in. Uh, we know this one's opening up about 12, or 12. That one's opening up about fully at about 10 PSI. It starts to crack at about eight. Um, so we're just gonna test the red one. We'll add it together and obviously that's what it'll most likely open up at. So we got the red one in, everything's tightened down. Get our air on. We will uh, turn our gauge on. So we're at red zero PSI. We're at three, four, five, six. 
So you can hear it blowing, six PSI. An eight PSI, we're fully open. So, try it again. Nice and closed. About three, four. We don't hear any air, which is good. Means our diaphragm is sealed. So we'll go three, four, five. You can kind of hear it starting to leak out. Six. And she's about halfway open, a little more than half. Eight PSI. Eight PSI fully open. So I think it's safe to say that the red by itself seems to be ideal. This seems to be making the closest to eight PSI as uh, out of all of them. So I would say this is probably your 14 PSI. This will probably, this would I would say would be I'd say 11, that's when it was open. It was opening up about 10. So 10 PSI spring, 11, whatever you want to call it, eight. Uh, this one was the closest one that was opening up at uh, eight PSI. So I guess it pays to test, test your gates just to make sure, double check that everything's good and solid. Cause on this one, I was making close to like 12 pounds boost. Um, 12.7 was the highest it was getting. Uh, didn't test that one, didn't test this one. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably just stick with the red one, uh, leave the red spring in, since that is seems to be the sweet spot and it's opening up where we want it to open up at. Um, we can always turn it up with the boost controller, but being on 93, I don't want to run any, any more than eight PSI right now. Uh, the E85 around me, it's not the best quality. Everything's been testing at, at about E70 or lower still. So once we once we find some stuff that's at least E75, E80, we'll start uh, throwing that in there. So um, yeah, uh, just for just for fun, I guess we'll throw the black spring in with the red spring, and we'll we'll see what it does. I'm kind of curious how much boost that will make together actually. So. Uh, Keep watching i'm going to take this apart throw the black spring in and the red spring and we'll test that and see what that makes and uh see how it goes I and mean, we could even throw all three of them in here that'd probably be like 30 pounds boost or something crazy you know but we're not going to do that we're just going to try our uh one black one red uh because this is what on three says they're supposed to ship with so we'll see what they make together and uh yeah so let's get to taking it apart and I'll catch you guys in a minute when it's back together. All right, so we got both the springs in, the black and, or the plain, black, whatever you want to call it, plain and red one. Uh, that's what we'll call it. So we got it hooked up, turn on our gauge and we'll see just about when they decide to open up. So we're at eight PSI now. Eleven. You can hear it. Uh, it's starting to open up. Fourteen, kind of. It's a little open. Fifteen, sixteen and a half psi. It's about halfway. So about eighteen psi, and it is fully open. So let's try it again. Zero psi. So we're at 12 PSI and it's cracking, 13 PSI, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 PSI and it's fully open. So hopefully that helps out, helps some of you guys out. Uh, both springs you're making about 18 PSI. <laughs> That's when it's fully opening. So it's cracked about 14. Um, I think 14. I don't know. I already forgot. 
but yeah uh so seems to be the least amount of if you want to make the least amount of boost it's going to be this red spring um red spring will make about around eight it'll be fully open start cracking around six so six to eight psi on that one so uh that's what we're gonna run you can already tell when you put the the plane and the red one in it's it's a pain to close it to hold it down and try to screw them in but uh but yeah we're going to uh swap out we'll be just running the red spring and then with the boost controller we could turn that up all the way to uh, our full boost so well what 12 12 to 16 psi i think figure somewhere in there but uh but yeah we're gonna throw the red springs in throw the gates back on the car and uh we'll uh, hopefully hopefully be good to go and not make so much boost on 93 until we can get some good e85 running e90 is kind of expensive it's like six dollars a gallon something like that i broke it down to so yeah thanks for watching uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys remember to uh like comment subscribe you know stay tuned hopefully the tracks open up soon we'll be able to take the car out and have some fun instead of just doing some mexico stuff so yeah the two step will be here too so that'll be going on the car hopefully hopefully today so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video